If I go to Accounts in Studio, Layouts, Sugar Dashlet, you'll see that similar to the pop-up and to the list view, we have a list view option and a search option. If I'm on my home screen, Dashlets are sort of the, the mini list views that you'll see when you first log in. So if you just want to see your calls, your meetings, etc., you have these are called Dashlets. Now, what you'd be manipulating would be what you see here when you click on the options as well as what's actually shown here in terms of the columns that would be displayed. Since I'm looking at my calls, I'll go ahead and go back to Studio and go to Calls, Layouts, Sugar Dashlet. And first we'll just do the easy one, the list view. So when your uh, users log into the system and they have their My Calls, maybe it's important that they actually see the, the contact name. So I'm going to drag that over to here, right next between subject and related to. Now you'll notice that there's also an available column and a hidden column. Of course we can drag any of these to default or to hidden. We can drag anything from hidden into available. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works. If I click on save and deploy and then go back to my dashlet, you'll see that right away, when it, once I hit the refresh button, that now I have the contact column right here. When I go to edit, it asks which columns I want to see and which ones I want to hide. The hidden columns are the ones that we saw here in available. And the display columns are the ones that we see over here in default. The ones that are set to hidden, the user will never have that option to actually make them available or make them visible. This gives your users the ability to actually customize their own dashboards but gives you control over what maybe there are certain columns you just don't want them to be able to add to their dashlet. The filter section right here corresponds to to the sugar dashlet search and this is actually um, the most handy option that we have here. Probably one of the most useful columns that I think you can add to the filters or the search is the assign to. You might have a business model where a case, a support ticket, a phone call comes into the system but uh, isn't assigned out. It's, it goes into a, a free pile and your users are expected to go in and see which ones haven't been assigned and, and, and take them as they come in. So by default, Dashlets have only my items checked. So you would only see your items. So one thing you can do is you can uncheck only my items and you can set the assign to to maybe a Will Weston when they're not assigned. Maybe you have a user called unassigned. Uh, so you want to see those plus your own. In my case, I'm an administrator. So this would be mine plus the free pile. And I can hit save. And now you'll see that it jumped up to 12 because now it's showing all the ones that are assigned to Will as well. In this case, we're thinking of Will as, uh, like I said, the, the free pile. But any field that's available through the sugar dashlet search can be filtered on. So if you wanted to be able to filter on, you wanted to, you wanted to create a dashlet for seeing all of your team's calls, uh, being able to filter on who created it. This really gives you the, a, a strong way to uh, really modify the dashlet for your needs.